You're more powerful than you think you are. Don't you know that? Don't you know that you're more powerful than you think you are? Don't you know that you have more in you? It's like we have these new skills that are, that are, that are turned on that we're not even aware of. And the way we unlock that is by leaning into the uh. The uh is the entry point. My name is Jason Drees. Today we're going to talk about the do the impossible framework. Step number three. Remember the process you're working through. There is a framework to this. This isn't just some coaching program where we hold you accountable to your goals. Did you take your action? Did you take your action? No. This is a system. And this entire system is founded on the discovery of a new mode of operation, a new way to operate. It's called frame shifting. And basically, this, this I'm going to tell you the story today. But first, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question, then I'm going to tell you a story. What level are you playing at from zero to 10? Now, look at the goals you have this year. Look at the targets you have this year and look how you're feeling this year. Now, the question is, if success was guaranteed and you could not fail, what level from zero to 10 would you play at? So do you now see the gap between where you are and your potential? The next question is, what actions do you think you need to take to be at a 10 out of 10? And what everyone's going to say is they're going to say, I should wake up earlier and I should take cold showers and I should get more shit done. Would you agree that that's the first thought that comes out of your head on the difference? Remember, we're operating at a higher frequency of reality here. And the challenge we're all going through is we're learning to move out of a mind-based living, mind-based operation of your life to an entire integrated version of you. You are not your mind. Your mind is a part of you. And we're all going through the unwinding of our mind-based reality into our integrated soul based mind based all of you reality that's what's going on that's why life is different right now and the gap between those will uh, this three dimensional brain will tell you that that gap the gap between those is lack of action but it's not lack of action feel the uh can you feel that uh at this number and the other number, can you feel? Yes, type yes if you can feel the uh. The uh. Now I'm I know I'm elevating you guys, but can you feel that dread, that regret, that what am I doing? So here's the answer. I asked you, what do you think you should do? And we all our brains are going to tell us we got to do cold showers and wake up and shit like that. It's more action, but it's not. The, the difference between the first number and the second number is the uh. And what it really means is that number is your, your, your ability to lean into that uncomfortable feeling, that discomfort of feeling that goes uh. And also, it's one of the most challenging things about signing up for coaching. So if you want to close the gap from that first number to that second number, you got to lean into that, uh, this, uh, uh, is the gap between your full potential and where you're at today. The difference, what it actually takes to go from here to here is not cold showers. It's not 4am wake ups. It's not better weekly planning. It's not the 75 hard. It's none of that shit. It's a decision to play at that level. And if that decision is scary for you, then remove the option of not playing at that level. Remove the option of not playing at that level. You should be earning more. You should be experiencing more. You should be having vacations on your own time. You should be working for yourself if you want to. You should be making more money. The only thing in your way are feelings. November 1st, 2020, Jason Dries Coaching has just started to accelerate two months ago from being on the Bigger Pockets podcast. I'm on the Bigger Pockets podcast. Prior to the Bigger Pockets podcast, Jason Dries Coaching was Jason Dries. I was coaching 65 clients by myself. 65. I had 65 clients. And it got to where I couldn't handle anymore. 
went on the podcast and I was doing like three introductory coaching sessions a month, maybe five. The first month after the Bigger Pockets podcast aired in was it August, September 2020, 192 introductory coaching sessions booked that next month. I grabbed my old buddy Brody. He jumped on board. Brody did 192 intro sessions that month. Were any of you enrolled by Brody back then? At the same time, the business income started to flow. It went from me to five people on the team in 30 days. I had to come up with a payroll system. I had to come up with a coaching system. I had to come up with all of that stuff. And it was awesome. And at the same time, I did the first Mindset Academy. The Mindset Academy, the original Mindset Academy with Brandon Turner. And remind me later, I'm going to get a gift for you if you ask me. So I did a six-week Mindset Academy program. I'm doing four one-hour sessions a week. And I had 65 clients. I was never, that was the most overwhelmed I'd been in my entire life. I was so overwhelmed that I could literally manage five to 10% of the stuff that I needed to get done on a daily basis. And it was amazing because cash was flowing in like it had never flowed in before. It, we, we just exploded. My revenue 10 X that year went from a hundred thousand to 1 million. And 75% of that revenue was in the past quarter. So I'm sitting here every day going, this is amazing. And I'm just literally saying, Jason, don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Can any of you relate to that? Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. It's going great. And I'm sitting here every day going, it's amazing, but I am completely and totally overwhelmed. I'm so ridiculously overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. And then I sat, had this moment of clarity and you guys have always heard me. This is how content flows to me. I'm a conduit for it. It flowed to me. It was November, first week in November and I'm just, my head's exploding. And I was like, September 1st, I had everything dialed in. So here's today, November 1st. September 1st, I had everything dialed in, 100% in control. And I had this thought. Even though I had everything in control on September 1st, if I had pulled Jason from 10 years ago and brought him to September 1st, he would have been totally overwhelmed. So that told me there was a Jason in the future that would know how to handle everything I have right now. And I thought about that future version me for a little bit. And all of a sudden my stress went away. I felt lighter. The doubt disappeared. My certainty increased. And then I had new ideas on how to manage it. And I said, what the hell just happened? And I didn't understand it at the time. And then the next day it happened again. Actually, it probably happened that afternoon. And I did this three times a day. And that's when I discovered frame shifting. Because frame shifting is shifting into the future version of you that can solve your current challenges. It's like jumping the, the growth process using higher level consciousness. You have to be operating at a high level of consciousness, a high frequency of reality to hear this conversation. The average person cannot hear it. You've heard me try to describe this. I've been trying to describe this for three years. But it's hard, to it's hard to describe a viewpoint when you're on a mountain that's higher than other people. It's hard to describe it. It's really hard to describe it. But the simple way to tell you is that you're more powerful than you think you are. Don't you know that? Don't you know that you're more powerful than you think you are? Don't you know that you have more in you? It's like we have these new skills that are, that are, that are turned on that we're not even aware of. And the way we unlock that is by leaning into the, uh, the, uh, is the entry point. The obstacle is the path, right? So if you want to lean into that, uh, make a decision to remove the option not to, that's how you start growing. Because right now, every one of you, as of this year, your personal growth journey and your business journey are one. They are no longer separate. No longer separate. So this week, you have that obstacle in front of you. Let's raise the standard. Are you feeling grounded and focused? Let's become 
feeling proof. Let's become free of our fear of feelings. 10 out of 10 is where you go. 10 out of 10. Because when you can master leaning into the ah, uh, that's when you become unstoppable. That's when you rise above all the nonsense. And when that's when, when you learn that lesson that causes the uh, life will no longer need to give you the uh anymore.